Hello everyone, this is Matt Hooch with Sawhorse and today we are going to do a blower door test on the 1920s makeover ATL. Now we want to test this house in order to see what, how leaky it is and what kind of improvements we can make. Now it's a very old house so I'm not expecting the test results to be great. However, we have to start somewhere that way we can measure where we are right now and also measure the improvement to see what percent difference we make in this house. All right, I'm gonna work with Corbett Lunsford of Home Diagnosis. He's going to do the testing and also have Chris Lummer Giddens with us. He's, he's going to be joining us as well because he's going to be designing mechanical systems and also assisting with project management. So I'm Corbett Lunsford. I'm honored to be the testing uh, guy for Chris and Jody's projects. Uh, and for Matt now as well on this uh, project. And this is the blower door. We're gonna run this to make sure that we understand what the house is doing before they start fixing it so that you can have an actual before and after. Because everybody lives before and after. That's what all the magazines are. So this is gonna test the air tightness and also the pressure relationships within the house. And there's all kinds of advanced stuff that we can do with this, which we will be doing throughout this process. So please do you know, stay tuned to this renovation because it's gonna be awesome. Um, but right now, what we're about to find out is how uh, terrible slash how much of an opportunity for improvement we have with this house. If you did not do this test and you just started renovating the place with a builder who didn't know anything about how to use these techniques to make the house perform better, then you would end up with a house that feels almost exactly the same or potentially worse, which I've seen in a lot of cases, than it does today. And this is a 1920s, tech, you know, all the technology in here is like not... Brand. Uh, so anyway, this is an important step and I'm, I'm happy to be here today to figure this out. This is the fan. This is an expensive piece of equipment because it's, it actually creates the airflow and measures it. So I'm going to open this as wide open as possible because I know I'm probably not going to be able to blow enough air to hit my standard pressure, which is measured by my little tiny computer here. This is a $1,200 calculator. It's a pressure gauge called a manometer. I've got hoses referencing the outside pressure and the inside pressure, and it's going to be doing all kinds of calculations. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and run it. The fan moves 6,000 CFM. I couldn't even get it to 10 pascals. I wanted to get to 50. So I couldn't push nearly enough air, and it was looking at around 17 thousand CFM. Chris and Jody's projects normally, and Matt's, now that I'm working with Matt as well, are way lower than, we're, we're gonna be probably looking at a number that's gonna be less than 1,000 at the end. So we're testing it now, we tested it at the end, and we can see that we made the house 17 times tighter than it was at the beginning, and that's the kind of metric that just makes you feel a little bit better to live in your house after that. All right, I just got back from the job site and the testing with Corbett and Chris, and I'll tell you what, this is absolutely the leakiest house that I've seen, and also Corbett has tested as well. The good news is that there's lots of room for improvement, so you'll be able to see how we can make this house at least 20 times more energy efficient with regards to energy loss and energy gain through the building envelope, because this building envelope is Swiss cheese. There's no way that anyone was ever comfortable in this house and I guarantee, like in this particular house, their energy bills had to be way over $1,000, which is absurd for this neighborhood. In addition to the performance testing with the blower door, we also decided to do um, some other tests. We're tests for lead paint. We're going to get those uh, results back pretty soon. But we also tested for asbestos. And the good news is like we've come back negative on all the tests for asbestos. So we're clear to do demolition on at least 90% of the house. Now we just need to, to verify that the samples that we tested for lead paint will come back negative and then we're good to go. We want to make sure that not only the end product we have clean air for our clients, but we also want to make sure that the workers during construction and also at the dump aren't having to breathe some of these toxic fumes and also some of this dust from either the asbestos or lead paint. We hope you enjoyed this video and this video is part of a larger playlist if you want to see all the videos on this particular house, click the icon in the upper right hand corner. If you wanna get instant notifications anytime we were talking about this house or other projects on our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. Um, in the comments section below, let us know what you thought about this, about the blower door, very interesting, very interesting to see a leaky house 
and what other things you would like to hear us talk about on this project and other projects. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.